Could you react to when Ebro said Uzi would struggle by age 27? Yeah, I got you. Shout out ZVN too. Uzi Ebro. Where is it? When Ebro said Lil Uzi Vert will struggle by 27, 25 now selling 250k, bruh. Yo, I lowkey want to hear their freestyle too. Right here. Um, so, uh, you start rapping while you was in Philly. Yes. How did you, what happened? In Philly to Atlanta, how did that? Don that Cannon. An Don Cannon. Just like drum. He was riding through Philly and he heard them playing my song on the radio and he called the radio station and asked them for my number and hit me up. Bop. But how was that? That's how a and ing was back in the day before like SoundCloud. Well, actually, this was during SoundCloud, kind of, but I don't know. Nowadays, a &Rs literally just be peeping SoundCloud all day, seeing what's got like 2,000 plays and be like, oh, they, this is this is going to blow up and they're already gaining a organic fan base. Like, let's pump some gasoline into them. That transition from you just making music on your own, how did it get to the radio? Was there a certain DJ that you were yeah. cool with? Yeah, DJ Domicus. Mm -hmm. Oh, Diamond Cut. Yes. Love Diamond Cut. Yeah. yeah how did dope. you how did Me you too. connect with her? Um my Shut old up, Blake. is actually her Chiaki. Like oh, this, the connection. Oh, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Lindy. But yeah, you're right, Walkhart. So I feel like nowadays interviews don't even matter. I feel like since the artists have such power to post online and uh social hold up. I've been watching your vids, but this my first stream. Shout also, out, bro. my Eagles fly. Uzi probably going to be on the Eagles thing, or I hope he does. Comes out with the Eagles and plays just want to rock to get that shit to number like four or five, whatever. But anyway, uh, yeah. So I feel like because artists have the power with Twitter, Instagram, whatever, although Uzi deactivated all that, hopefully he doesn't lose his account forever because it's, it, I think they completely delete after 30 or 60 days. But anyway, they don't need interviews because that only increases the chance of them looking corny or looking bad they can give y'all all the content they need by themselves and it'll probably get more views than the interview yeah good for you oh that's tight hmm. now you got this new project literally hit soundcloud just blew up out of here like it's they're calling it like an overnight success how you feel here it is it's cool you with that yeah it's all right yeah I don't know, bro. I just be in the moment. Like, I'm in the moment right now. Like, yeah, just soaking it up. Yeah, like, this is when Uzi was still kind of quiet. Like, now he'd be all lit on uh, the interview. I'm, I just was watching this, and I'm here. <laughs> I always think about that. I always yeah, think that must like, be that's hot. true. Like, that's true. Like, I don't know. Like, you know me, like, listening to hip-hop and rap, of course you see this. Just was watching this. Like, I didn't know I was going to be here yet. Yeah, yeah, that's weird. That's weird. Maybe next year, but I ain't up here already. So. It happened fast. I feel I like know. I heard your name for the first time a few months ago and then heard your name again. Heard your name. I feel like Uzi was kind of, in kind of, kind of overnight success in the way that he dropped Love is Rage, which he, he didn't really have too many, like, you know, hits before that. So when it finally dropped and DJ Drama and Don Cannon were able to get it on Dat Piff and push it because they already had their own label at that point and they already had their own success and they knew how to market. That's why low key like Uzi, I want to say eh, he's kind of industry plan if you think about it. But industry plans are cool if if they're, you know, fire. I'm just saying. Name again and then here you are. Shit, man, man. That's pretty good. Yeah. Talk about go. Um, so you gonna get to these bars? If you pull up, I'm telling you right now, if you pull up one of them old beats, I'm not rapping on it. Why? Straight up. It's just, it's you see me, bro? I am a rock star, bro. I'm not rapping on that type stuff. We'll decide when you're a rock let star. Let me let me hear it and I'm letting you know. I'm he's, letting you he's know. He's at least being honest about yeah, it. Yeah. My fans. Right, so I feel like Ebro's taking so much disrespect to that. Like, damn. You you think like my beats are old? Fair My fans enough. won't be disappointed. They get it. No, they will. No, they but won't. I hope I piss your friends. Your off. fans gonna be disappointed. All <laughs> the old, all the old guys. They don't give a they're fuck. Like Uzi, Uzi is just like joking around, trying to play around, but he's not taking it all. He's killing the mood. But yeah, no. they don't no, even know why I'm on be, here right now. What they'll be disappointed is if I if you get up here in these bars, mm -hmm. you spit his trash, and I don't tell you they trash. So let's get to these raps since you know so nice. Oh my god. This nigga me make a song like. <laughs> Yo, I'm not gonna lie, that beat is garbage. That was your favorite Kanye yeah. song, right? Yeah. Well done, bro. He had to have done that on purpose. Why he do that? Hey. Yeah. Um. 
Running through all of these groupies, yeah I might just put my arm, yeah Right in their coochie, like, yeah I feel like boozy with all of this coochie All of these diamonds and diamonds, yeah All of these diamonds, they dancing, yeah Feel like their bitch, they be prancing, yeah Drive around riding some shit, um Got your bitch riding on my dick, like, um, yeah I might just whip it, yeah Damn, he was still on the, um, yeah flow I might just change it, I might just flip it Like I just got me a new AK So I might just have to be on uh, the case Got your bitch up all in my face Yeah, go y'all, that's all on my case That be the brief, okay, I keep it so brief Yeah, I might just get on the teeth Yeah, I do not need that little bitch cause I'm young So I might fuck on the niece Like yeah, I do not care about that I might not care about that, I got money Yeah, I just made that shit stack Yeah, my little bitch, you know, black like, yeah My little bitch is so black, I don't get it I feel like trick, that be the daddy Got bitch on my dick and she want it I might drive around, do a drive by and caddy Like, yeah, tell the little bitch that my pocket's so fat I do not have to just act I do not have to just turn Got your girl on me, I feel like I'm making uh, I don't know, man this is so not, Actually, I don't think that that was that bad For that kind of beat Like, this this ain't even like an old head beat, bro. This is literally from Beethoven's era. It's so trash. How do you even rap on that? I didn't even know how he was going to do it. I've seen this interview, but it was so long ago. I mean, like, like, it was, of course, going to be Uzi's flow, but it was at least it was unique. And he didn't really, really say anything. Like, it was just the classic, like, swag rap type. But still, I didn't think it was that bad. But, you know, Ero's going to come in. He's eating his words though. Like now Uzi is one of the top selling artists, like literally with the likes of Kendrick Lamar. Eternal It Takes sold, I think over Kendrick's last album. And it's like Kendrick's a top three rapper, like solidified, like he's one of the goats objectively. So Ebro is literally eating his own words and dick. I mean, I, I respect the cool. He fell off at the end. Yeah. Put another, like the put end. another beat on shit. Nah, because all I got is old man beats and you're not built. Hey, <laughs> listen. Hey, listen. It's going to be a lot of young guys coming up here and they ain't going to want to rap on that. I'm trying to tell you, it's changing. Yo, look. It's I changing. Hope, no, I hope they change. So Uzi did his research, probably. Because I don't really, I don't know too much of Ebro's work other than when he gets clowned on by people for being an old head. But. Uzi probably going into the interview after he got from the call from his management was like looked up their you know their their content and they were always playing old head beats so he came in probably ready change I it's hope changing, they change bro. I hope they change I hope they change but as I've seen with all you little young motherfuckers yeah. that think you nice yeah he is pretty nice you nice yeah I'm good y'all get to y'all get to like 27 28 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And y'all niggas get to struggling and y'all come y'all be trying to come back tell to you find what, that sound. I ain't gonna struggle, bro. Alright, we're gonna see. Oh, we gonna even, see. Oh, you gonna, gonna learn. And, and guess what? I'm I like how he's just like I'm gonna be here. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be totally different too. Like I'm I'm gonna be a sh all the way around. Right, so let, right no, let me let me ask you, um, cause you keep throwing It's crazy how right Uzi was. And now he's literally one of the most influential artists of this past generation. And he's influencing everybody. Him and Cardi. They're like the top. Even Kanye said it. They're the new, the new whatever. So I can't remember what Kanye's words were. We talked about it a couple streams ago. But he was right. Literally spot on. And he's a rock star. Uh, apparently pinked it. Yeah, we'll get into that in a second. I got you around this rock star thing what does that mean what does that mean to you it means a what, lot to me it's what, a lifestyle like, like give me give me give me more words than that hmm. what, what do you mean what do you mean by it is that a wrong that, question hmm. like what does that look like is that just it look like me it look like Marilyn Manson it looks like Gigi Allen it looks like you know Lil Uzi like real rock star yes yeah, 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 yeah. serious you should come real to my, creative you should come to my show tonight I saw some of your video I saw some of your no, video no no no, no 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 I got experience after video you should come to my show tonight at SOB's Word. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, it's gonna yeah, be. No, his fans insane. is crazy. He's got crazy fans. Crazy ones. You do the stage diving and all that. Oh yeah, I yeah, front yeah. flip in the crowd and all that type of stuff like that. Not as busy, you know. No. Be tough. Nah, you're crazy if I want. You're crazy if I want. Have you been in there before? It's bro, you're crazy if I want. But the stage is so low. Have you're you saw little? On the fan. Have you saw little Uzi Vert perform before? I walk on people. Of course I have. All right, I'll walk he's, on people. He's small, so you can hold yeah. him. I haven't, I haven't. I haven't I, I, I Yo, you're him. vertical. You could dunk a basketball. You got hops like that. I can jump, but you know I'm little. I'm like five five. So, oh yeah. It's there we go. We got his. He got. We got his. Uh, his his height confirmed. I, I I feel like I've never actually heard it. Like it's always like a Google search. So we know he's five five, for real. 
but yeah man uzi was right that's all we gotta say uh ebro can suck a <laughs> he was wrong he was saying something about uh what was it although he was arguing with the academics and i kind of took his side because he uh academics was saying that they were blackballing the baby and i was like well he was on the playlist it's just nobody really cares about him anymore 